today we are going to start with the second lecture the fifth lecture of this unit on triangulation okay we have studied about uh, the what is triangulations and why it is used who has discovered it and its principles of triangulations today we are going to study about the purpose of triangulations survey and the classification of triangulation systems right so before we get into the purpose we will once again brush up or un understand what is triangulation right triangulation system consist of right the triangulation system consist of number of interconnected triangles as it is shown in the figure where the various triangles are interconnected to the each other right in which the length of one of its line or the side is called as baseline and the angles of the triangle are measured very precisely not only the angles but also the the baseline is properly measured right and all the three side three angles are been measured not only one all the three okay purpose now what are the uses or why we should use the triangulation why it is that we have to use triangulation system of survey to obtain the accurate points for plane and geodetic survey of a larger area see in case of the plane survey there are many other surveys through which you can calculate the area or you can get the details of the area but in the case of geodetic surveying it is very much difficult to use the other uh, try uh, system of survey to calculate the area a triangulation is the best and most uh, appropriate method in the geodetic surveying to get the area details as you know geodetic survey consist of the larger areas of this earth surface as our earth is spherical in shape right then when we consider the larger area our lens also will be in the spherical shapes as we know the spherical triangles if you have studied in the surveying one about the geodetic survey the lines or the lens you are going to measure will be the in circular shape or curved shape right so in that case to measure an area in a triangular a curved triangular so you have to have a triangle shapes if you want to co uh, cover a, a curved surface best suited uh, framework can be of triangles because the framework of triangles can be manipulated into a curve okay if you if you get if i get a image i will try to show you how it is been uh, curved can be divided into various frame or the small sections of triangles right so for that purpose it becomes very useful in the case of geodetic surveys which are very much important in the case of positioning your defense points and offense points okay uh, it becomes of strategic importance also gives you the uh, your uh, whole uh, high high security you, you might say a high uh, control systems right not security it is a control system you'll get next is to establish the accurate points for photogrammetric survey what is photogrammetric survey when you take uh, photographs or you take a video record, record from the above the earth surface through some instruments or through some medium or th through some vehicles right if you are traveling through the air okay through a helicopter or chopper or a aircraft or using drones you capture the area and you measure the details you find out the details you get, measure the area in that case that type of survey is called aerial survey or photogrammetric survey where you're going to capture a photo 
from certain elevation on the earth surface for that it becomes a very use to establish a accurate control points over the through the photogrammetric survey it becomes very easy accurate location for engineering works right this uh, uh, where this can be used accurate location of engineering works means whenever you are fixing the center line right of a of a tunnel or a runway or you can say any um, bo body right it might be along its length so in that case transferring the control points becomes very much important in the case of seas if you want to consider something in the sea in that case these control points become your reference points for the further construction works or to extend your alignment right so now we will move for triangulation classifications now why do you want classification in the triangulation systems right what you have to do you have to just draw the triangles the network of triangles right so why do you want the classifications you need classification because it depends upon the accuracy of the figure of triangles how accurately you have you have constructed the triangles depending upon those right depending upon those you are going to divide the triangulation systems into three parts first one is sorry the first one is first order, order triangulation or a primary triangulation system it is a primary triangulation or the first order triangulation next secondary triangulation or second order triangulation third the tertiary triangulation or the third order triangulations so we'll go in deep about what is primary secondary and tertiary triangulation systems and how they differ by to each other right as i said classification is necessary for the uh, depending upon its uh, accuracy of the figure and also also depending upon the size of the triangles or the network of triangles right depending upon that this uh, uh, triang triangulation system is divided in the primary or the first order triangulation right highest grade of triangulation system means what uh, their accuracy is of a higher grade the size and the shape of the area that is covered in the single order or the, or the primary triangulation is higher right you can consider the vast area coverage of a whole country when you are trying to cover or survey the earth that time your country becomes one triangle so that one triangle becomes your primary triangulation okay when you consider as a whole that one triangle becomes a one triangle becomes a primary triangulation right where precision well conditioned triangles okay are used while constructing a uh, triangles these triangles are well con conditioned triangles where the angle of the two sides okay of isosceles triangle will not be less than 60 degrees and will not be greater than 120 degrees such type of triangle is called as conditioned or well conditioned triangle right to determine the shape and size of the earth surface or for providing the precise plan of metric controls over the subsidiary triangulations if i say when you want to consider as a earth to survey once you take some area as a bigger triangle so that bigger triangle becomes your primary or the first order triangulation system right and also 
where it should be a well trying well conditioned triangle and the precision is very much required and these are of larger size and shape depending upon the size and shape of the area right the stations are selected generally 16 kilometers to 150 kilometers apart okay next is your secondary or second order triangulation in this the number of points fixed within the framework right if you understand in this what happens is if this is your a bigger triangle a well conditioned a bigger size where it is covering a country this is your area this is one triangulation and this becomes your another triangle this becomes your another triangle right this is how you are going to divide your area in triangulations so this triangle becomes your primary or first order triangulations right this becomes a first angle triangulations when you are going for a deep survey in this area so you are going to divide this whole area into separate triangles again right like this right into again smaller triangles so these triangles when in a in a, a bigger triangle you are going to divide that bigger triangle into smaller framework of triangles that is called as secondary or second order triangulations to connect two primary okay it might be connecting two primary stations or inside the station uh, primary triangulations okay right to connect or to have a framework in inside its own primary triangulations that triangulation system is called as secondary triangulation system next is for densification of the controlled horizontal networks what i was trying to say right you are trying to densify your control systems means you are trying to get large number of stations in a primary triangulation systems how you can develop this because we know the stations are been provided at the vertices of the stations as you increase the number of triangles the stations also increases densification means increasing right as we say population is dense means population is more same way we want to increase the stations right so you have to increase the number of triangulations next is tertiary in tertiary to provide control between the stations of secondary and primary okay then you are going for a third order or tertiary triangles now in the same way when you want to connect second and first order triangles and also in inside the second triangle secondary triangulations or second order triangulations you have for have to get for a deeper order or a detailed surveying that time you're going to if this is your secondary triangle in that you want your you want your again network of triangles in it right you can say if this is your secondary triangle then the inner triangles right these all are your third order triangle triangulation systems right and these tertiary or third order triangles are used for the accurate location or for the accurate uh, engineering works to get a controlled points for the proper engineering project works whenever you want to 
get the get the fix the center line right you have to have a reference right for that this third order or tertiary or the third order triangulations becomes very much important for the densification of the control points for the topographical surveying on the various scales as this triangle is for the very small area where we can have a larger uh, you can say details right you can get a larger area a smaller area but a larger details of those areas for that case this is useful this triangulation the tertiary triangulation is useful for the engineering works that we carry out for transferring of center lines might be for the shafts of the tunnels right might be for the uh, long tunnels transferring the control points across the wide sea channels right when you want to transfer the points from one point to another point which is being co uh, covered by the in between there is a sea so when you want to pass it that time this tertiary points becomes very much important right and as a precision wise and size wise there are this by the size wise it is a smaller in shape and also the precision is lesser as in case of the secondary and tertiary okay this is what is about triangulations there is not much about uh, anything about uh, problems here you are going to just understand what is triangulations why it is used where it is used and why it is classified into various types and this is used for mainly for the geodetic surveying that you have to keep in mind in the, when you are uh, studying for the triangulation chapter okay that is all for today's lecture thank you